Good morning, Miss Violet. Are you out playing with your sissies? I'm so proud of you. That's a big girl. Yes. Here's Miss Marigold and then the two troublemakers who've learned how to slip the gate <laughs> on the run. But I thought I would let them out this morning. It's in the 40s. It's quite cloudy, but... Uh, and there they go into the garden. This whole big yard and they have to have the garden. Hey, hey you, you get out of there. You get out of there. Hey, what are you girls doing? Out. You get out. <laughs> you get out of there. Yeah, you're cornered now. You're stuck. Oh, careful. Well, good morning, YouTube friends and family. The adventures of chickens in a garden. And in fairness to them, they don't know any better. Um, I am going to have to figure out some kind of fencing around the edge of the garden, just so that it isn't a constant um, battle. Because they're pretty smart. <laughs> they can get all kinds of things dug up very quickly. So what are we gonna do today? Well, behind me, I have all of the seedlings that we started. Um, let's see, at the end of February 1st of March, they're definitely getting root bound. We have some things growing in the veggie pod. We have had one of the most unseasonably cold springs <laughs> ever. So I thought what I might do this morning, it's kind of chilly, but I'm gonna give it a shot. I am going to try to put together some things for my outdoor kitchen as well as for my garden. So I hope you'll stay right, tuned. Guys. Well, if you're wondering why my eyes look swollen is it's been a very high pollen count <laughs> spring as well. But we have had, um, we had snow flurries yesterday. Wait, what? <laughs> May 4th, I think today, yes. So May 3rd, we had flurries. Of course, nothing stuck. But it's been getting down in the 30s at night, so I'm working on hardening off my seedlings. I'm almost afraid to plant them this early. Um, we had a couple of really hard freezes that I think are gonna take out my broccoli and my um, cabbage, but we shall see. So the first thing I want to work on today, grab the picture here. Um, can you all see this? It's an arched trellis. So my thought was I've got some little loofah gourds started to put them on the edges of beds on either side of two of the big beds and let them trellis up and over. You could do it with cucumbers as well. I just don't want the two to cross pollinate. So whatever is on one side will be on the other as well. So. I swear y'all, when you get a, a set of instructions and it's like insert angled bar mail part A into, I just wanna cry, but I've got some putting together to do. So I'm gonna speed myself up. I wish it was this fast. And we're gonna get this trellis built and figure out where in the garden it's gonna go. Stay tuned. The joys of having chickens. So Miss Violet has not been laying because she's been broody, but for her to be out of the coop at all, I'm thinking maybe she's through it, but this is my offering this morning. This is at Jolene, no, not Jolene, it's um, Marigold, and I think Fancy Ray. So they're out playing, and I'm going to get started on this here in just a minute. Well, y'all, my battery died. <laughs> but I was on the Struggle Bus Express, just saying. <laughs> Once I finally figured out how to get the trellis together, um, it wasn't assembling the frame. It's these shirt clips, which are very nice, actually. Mm, once you figure out how to use them. What did we do before we had YouTube videos, right? And I apologize, the neighbors are building a fence. So if you hear all the, uh, uh, that's what it is. But I did get 
my vinyl tablecloth on my new cushion covers and y'all these came from walmart very good price i got them on sale for 15 each this one came and the the two captain's chairs that you know rock and do all the things those two i had a lowe's gift card um a rebate from buying paint and so these were like 30 dollars each uh, very, very nice, but honestly, I kind of wish I would have just bought two more of the Walmart ones. <laughs> Hello, girls. So, let me give you my honest opinion. I am going to link the trellis in the description box below. It comes with, once you get the frame all together, and you all know what a horseshoe-shaped trellis looks like, it comes with this netting, which to me looks like an absolute nightmare to get on but each of the cross braces have these little hooky things so this would give your plants like something to cling to because it is very open and I don't think that a, a climbing vine is going to have a very easy time of getting up it without this on it my original plan was to put it between two beds um, it was way bigger than what I thought always measure first guys I build it first and measure second I guess but was it hard to put together not once I figured out the clips I will say it would be way way easier with two people and it said build it in place and I'm like yeah no <laughs> I took I'll take take, it, take that as a suggestion guys build it in place if you're gonna build one because I had to get it up over the rolling and carry it down I did wait until I got it in place to put the final um, bottom legs on and the bottom cross braces. Now, I'm gonna show it to you, and you, you may think, oh, it looks a little hot. And our ground is fairly soft because we've had a lot of rain, but we're also forecast this weekend to have more rain. So before I put this on, because I don't have anything big enough to climb yet anyway, right? I am going to hope that it rains, hope that I can use my body weight to push it down further. The bottom legs have like a little anchor post in it. So yeah, I mean, it, it went down in the ground probably this much. It was hard, hard to get it even. Um, I'm thinking it will also be a great chicken deterrent. And I did figure out, I just stretched some additional chicken wire I had. Uh, at the entrance to the garden and the girls haven't been over there since so they probably will when my back is turned <laughs> I also got a plastic ish I don't know what else you would call it type rug because I thought well if the girls come up and poop on it then I can just hose it down plus a rug um as you see the sun starting to come over from noon on this is full sun it, it i can rarely get more than a year out of an outdoor rug but i just like the looks of it because my deck is in such bad shape um i love the teal blue y'all know that the, the 50s look um so we'll see uh you're gonna have to anchor it down it came with anchors and i'm like yeah, i can't anchor it in the deck mm. so i have various pots and chair legs and such I can keep it I think anchored down on so let me give you a quick look at what I've done with the deck so far y'all today is my azure pickup and I have to save a little bit of energy because it took me like two hours to build that ding dong trellis struggle bus express um I have to save a little bit of energy for unloading the truck because that I am the uh, drop coordinator so it is my responsibility to do so and I'm already pretty pooped plus it's grass cutting day so I have to get the girly girls back in there a little coop they'll be most unhappy but they've been behaving they just love being out and running I've totally spoiled them and you know on any day that it's nice I will let them out I don't treat my backyard you know I don't use any chemicals on my garden just like neem oil natural um, cures I guess you would say for pests so I feel very safe with them. Even if they got in the garden and ate something, it's not the end of the world. I would be a little bit upset. Whew, this chair is nice and comfy, guys. Like I could just sit here <laughs> and do nothing. So before I get up and show you, um, I do want to give you a little update on my mom. Um, 
y'all just just pray for my mom pray for me <clears throat> you know I think when someone passes it's always going to be hard it, it, it'll be hard on me but watching someone really suffer towards the end of their life is it's tough it is really tough and my mom has a lot of anxiety and they're working hospice is working to get her pain and her anxiety under control so um, it's been kind of a rough road honestly um, sometimes she's better if I'm there and set with her I have been there pretty much every day but I'm taking the day off again today I, I maybe every other day I think is a little more realistic for me um, because I have the Azure drop because I'm so far behind on outdoor work um, that's why I thought I would just take a day at home. My mom doesn't know whether I've been there five minutes ago or five weeks ago. She doesn't have any concept of that. Um, visiting is more for me than for my mom, I think, at this point. So, yeah. And also, guys, I did leave um, in the community tab a message from Miss Gay. I waited till she shared it with her um, YouTube family. Um, her dear, sweet husband, Troy passed away quite unexpectedly and so uh, the going home ceremony is what they call it you know the, the visitation and funeral isn't until a week from Saturday so if y'all just keep Miss Gay in your thoughts and prayers because I know this is going to be a hard journey for her as well okay all the sad stuff over let's go look at this trellis and let me show you what all I right y'all this is what it looks like I have it in the ground between the fence and this bed my original thought was between two beds in the back, but it's too wide. Mm, measure first. <laughs> but I'm pretty impressed with the sturdiness of it. I don't think that a, a strong wind will take it away. Um, we're going to find out, and I'd like to know that before I put all that netting on. I do have, this is my chicken wire. I need to put that back across. I do have some turnips coming up here. Yeah a few little carrots and then guys I don't know I think it's gonna come out of it this is my um, broccoli and then back here my cabbage it definitely suffered from frost but I don't think it totally killed it I think it's still viable so if we can keep those girly girls out of it <laughs> we should be good yeah and don't look at my weed patch Y'all, I've got mm, a thing or two to do, don't I? Volunteer onions. I've got a carrot over there, garlic in the back. But, you know, we're just now getting to the weather where we can actually um, plant things. So I think this is going to pull through. So here's what it looks like. And that will enable me to plant along this side and this side might even be able to do some pumpkin in the middle because pumpkin goes everywhere anyway or maybe some zucchini just need to make sure that it doesn't cross pollinate so here's where we ended up this is the rug i spoke about you can see the trellis out there my seedlings guys these things are humongous peppers are looking good these are the uh loofah my chives I'm collecting seed we've got some radishes and such in there and then of course more tomatoes some of them are starting to look a little worse for the wear but my peppers are looking brilliant so by my calculations we're only about 15 minutes in <sighs> I feel like I've been working for hours so it'll just be a second for you but I'll be back with you and we will finish up some outdoor chores, get that outdoor sink built. And I also have a very short uh, solar light product review to share with you. I hope you'll stay tuned. day two of getting ready for gardening season. So let me apologize in advance if you hear the girly girls, pardon me, fussing. They went out to play. It is still so wet out. And if I have to change them out, chase them out of the garden, I don't want to have to do it while the grass is still so wet. But y'all, let me share a product with you. So first of all, thank you to, and I want to say this right, Gigalumi for sponsoring this portion of the video and sending me these amazing solar lights. Y'all, I will leave a link in the description box below. You need to use that link 
to take advantage of the 15% off. And these are not your Dollar Tree um, solar lights, guys. These are amazing. So let me show you the box first so you can see what they look like lit up. So this is the style that I got. It came in a six pack and they put like a design on the ground. But y'all look at these beautiful lights. So first of all, they are a bronzed metal, which I thought was very elegant. And this portion, can you hear? It's glass. So they're much, much more durable, more water resistant, and longer lasting than your typical solar light you might buy at a big box store, at the Walmarts, <laughs> plural Walmarts or you know at a dollar store i am super impressed so let me show you how easy it is to put these together so you simply take off the top pull out the tab you know so that activates the battery so the battery is not been used in transit and then it just um slots in and twists and then they come with the leg so to speak so you take out the the peg that goes into the ground snap this together then this goes on to the light and it's that easy so according to they have excellent reviews let me say that according to all the directions that i read you let them charge for six to eight hours we'll fully charge them which i think is pretty exciting and they will stay lit for eight to ten hours now my original thought was to have them in the back however guys i feel like i buy these every year but i never buy this kind of quality these are going to look stunning in the front of my house so instead of having them back here i think i'm going to put them out front and then order a second set for in the back because i uh definitely need them so I'm gonna to continue to assemble here. And then you may notice y'all, there's a big box in the back behind me. Oh yeah, it's on. It's only 40 degrees. Can you see my breath? Yeah. Um, it's supposed to be a high of 71 and sunny today. I'm trying to make hay while the sun shines. Um, I was pretty pooped yesterday after all of the work I did and then um, unloading the Azure Standard truck. But our drop went well, other than the road being closed, but that's all right. I had to drive out past Aunt Sid's tater patch to find my way on <laughs> the road that uh, the state route that I live on is under heavy construction. So it was, closed going back northbound so yeah but we made it so I was hoping I would sleep in you know Frankie started at about mm, three o'clock and no matter how many times I said let's lay down and go night night <laughs> he's like oh no mama you get up you play with me all right let me kind of clear this portion up super easy guys I don't think you will be disappointed the solar charging ports right here and we're gonna get on to installing our quiz and our prep table and sink. Stay tuned. Y'all, I just took out my old lights in the back here because none of them worked. The difference in quality is amazing. Y'all need these. If you're tired of replacing lights that you're still spending, you know, five, six bucks a light at a big box store, You've got to try these, they are amazing. I like them so much, I'm gonna get a new set for out front. And y'all, I apologize. <laughs> the detour for the road closure. Oh wow, there's a cardinal. Squirrel! <laughs> Sorry guys. I have a lot of cardinals um, that visit here and I like to think it's my loved ones coming to see me. That's a pretty, pretty red bird. Anyway. Uh, the state route detour <laughs> dumps out um, near in front of my house. So I'm sorry, you guys are gonna hear a lot of truck traffic. Yesterday they blasted at the um, rock quarry. So that was a lot of fun too. 
because when it when they blast it shakes the whole house so yeah always fun filming at, at the Clark household I decided I should probably get myself some hot tea it is so cold out here but I wanted to get an early start this morning and I also wanted to say thank you all for such a warm response to my Tuesday video wait what is today maybe it was my Thursday video my Thursday video that's what it was my freezer cooking um, I have a lot more to come y'all that is the best thing I have done for myself since all of the chaos surrounding everything with mom and, it, and that's not a cut on mom it's just the way it is when you have major issues going down oh there's another car door. oops found penny <laughs> i really don't have add i just act like it sometimes so what am i having i'm having some ginger turmeric tea with my hanky panky frankie mug he's begging to come outside but he's not allowed out unless he's on his leash and I don't have time to walk him and he'd be soaking wet. Plus the chickens, right? All right. Well, let's talk about, oh. <laughs> Y'all, I'm sore. Oh <laughs> my word. I will tell you, this is extraordinarily heavy. I don't know how much it weighs. Let's see if it says, girls. Okay, um, okay, here we go. It weighs 59.52 pounds, the actual sink. So with the packaging, let's just call it 60. Um, this is what it is. It is the Cuisinart Deluxe Outdoor Prep Table. I actually purchased this from walmart.com, but I can link it below because Amazon carries it for the same price. The reason I got it for Wal from Walmart is it also had free shipping and the Amazon one was like on a month delay. So be mindful of that, and, or I can link both. Oh. oh, that's all of the accessories. I was like, ooh, it comes with all this stuff. I did order the cover for it as well. And I'll tell you why, just because I think it will stay nicer longer. Where I think I'm going to put this, um, is going to be in the sun much of the day and I don't want the plastic because it is plastic guys I did not buy this stainless steel sink oh guys I gotta get off my legs here can you hear fancy that's fancy Ray and Jolene mama hey mama mommy mama mom mom that's what they do all morning so, yep, once again, I'm putting stuff together. <laughs> so, this has um, the actual sink that you can hook to the hose and the drain you can hook to a bucket or, you know, let it run out in your flower beds, yard, whatsoever. Um, it has a frame for a bag so you can put your trash in it. It has two shelves. It's on casters that do lock plus a paper towel holder. Like, so everything you need. So why am I thinking about, you know, I have a perfectly good kitchen. Why am I thinking about being outside so much this summer? Well, y'all, outdoors is my happy place, A. And B, with the cost of utilities right now going up, up, up. Here's the Cuisinart stainless steel front piece. That's very nice. And not having the best insulation in my home. And the fact that the kitchen already faces west it can get so hot that you think you can't stand it in the house and of course I can turn the air down you know make it run more however that just costs me more money right so this looks like one of the shelves unfortunately guys none of these have like part a1 but let me just share with you, I've never considered myself an expert on putting things together, but being single for 27 years, but who's counting, you learn. <laughs> so just like when I built the chicken coop, what I like to do is unpack everything, 
make sure all the pieces and parts are there. <sighs> then you try to get it all back in the box if they're not and you have to send them back. But I, I don't think I'm gonna have a problem. So I'm gonna get these all unpacked, laid out, and then we'll talk about how it goes together. Stay tuned. Yeah. <laughs> I was completely wrong. This is metal and the sink is stainless. So I thought I ordered the cheaper plastic one. Maybe they sent the wrong one, but this is quality stuff. Now, I'm gonna speed myself up. So far, I'm not on the struggle bus or the struggle bus express. <laughs> and y'all just excuse my frizzy here. It's quite humid out here. It is still only 43 degrees. I can't feel my hands. I did give in to the girls and let them out to run. They don't seem to mind the wet or the cold. And they're just balk balking around. Miss Violet's still broody. She did come out and play a little bit yesterday, but she doesn't want to come out this morning, so that's okay. So I've assembled the casters on the bottom. Uh, these are the side back legs. I've assembled those. This is to the middle shelf. Now I'm getting ready to attach to the bottom shelf. Look at Hanky Panky Frankie. Is you want it to be on the video, buddy? <laughs> He will not take his eyes off of the chickens. He's like, mm, I see those little girls you talk to all the time. He's extremely jealous. So let's get busy getting this assembled. All right, y'all, we're getting there. Isn't this pretty? Like, I'm totally amazed. I am gonna go look and see so I can give you a price. I know it was over 200, but guys, this thing is built amazingly well. Amazingly well. And this is not sponsored by Cuisinart. Hit me up if you'd like to sponsor me. I am a big fan of Cuisinart appliances as well. One of the things I will say to you all, you know, you've seen me build a chicken coop, sort of. <laughs> I mean, I did build it, but I didn't show you every single step. Nor, since my battery died, did I show you how to build the trellis. But, you know, these big books can be super intimidating, particularly when you get pictures like this. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, the same. What I can tell you that really works well for me, lay all everything out. Make sure you know what it's called, because they're like left back leg assembly you know they they have funky names but get them laid out in a certain order i usually use a bowl for all of my screws but since it's all the same screw except for four i just figured i could leave it on the rug here also when you're putting something together like this that's gonna be squared up usually the directions will tell you and this did don't fully tighten all the screws down um, until the end because you need a certain amount of give and play to get everything lined up when you're screwing into pre-drilled um, formed things. That's the technical term for all you fellows out there. <laughs> um, I, I couldn't be more tickled thus, thus far. Um, the girls are super excited. The, the um, Bard Rocks love to dig in the wood chips and play King of the Mountain. They are so cute. They are so sweet. Um, well, hello, Jolene. You want to come up and say hello? I don't know if you all saw Frankie was going like this on the door. He wants out so bad. But, guys, I just I don't have time to watch him and the chickens and film and put something together. So he gets plenty of mom mom time, trust me. He's just a very um, master-oriented kitty, which is very true of a Himalayan. Well, hi, Jolene, you wanna come and say hi to your peoples? Well, come on. She's like, no, cause you pet me and I don't want petted, I wanna eat worms. <laughs> this must be prime worm eating time because they really like being out early, that's for sure. All right, guys, I'm gonna stop, blow my nose, speed myself up, 
I'm gonna go ahead and get the end pieces. I have these two end pieces to put together and then we're up to the sink. So um, let me get to that point and then I will show you how the sink and the faucet and the drain and everything I attached in case you're interested. And in the meantime, I'm gonna go look up and see how much this cost because I think it was 209, but I don't wanna tell you wrong. So stay tuned. All right, y'all, real quick before I go back on the ring light and my new ring light came late last night. I haven't put it together, but I'm using my old one to hold the camera. 214 is what I paid. And I looked at the picture and y'all, it must be a drawing, drawing, it must be drawn <laughs> rather than photo. It totally looks plastic. So no wonder I thought I was ordering plastic. So this will last much better. I love that it's on casters. I can wheel it, you know, around to store it uh, for winter to keep it, you know, fresh and nice. So I can drop a link to, and it, it's like not an affiliated link. Hit me up Walmart if you'd like to sponsor me, but I can drop a link both to the Walmart link and to the um, Amazon link for it. All right, let's get back to work. Y'all, we are getting there. So what I have left here, let me scoot you back, is the sink top. And then look at this faucet. I'm like, okay, my outdoor kitchen's nicer than my indoor kitchen. Just saying. Um, so all I need to do now is put this together. And y'all, these directions are amazing. I have put together a lot of things in my life. And this has got to be right up there with one of the easiest. I've only been out this about an hour. I've had 14 tea breaks. <laughs> and I've stopped to watch the chickens a few times, you know. Gotta have your priorities, right? So, this does have a small rubber washer. And it says, insert the faucet and small rubber washer into the sinkhole. Okay, so that's pretty simple to start. Then it says on the bottom, screw the large rubber washer and the nut. I don't know if y'all can see, yeah, there we go. So here's the large rubber washer. And a wing nut. Be tidy, look, be loosey. Okay. That washer better centered. And what I did in the meantime, and I didn't go ahead and speed myself up because I thought it was boring, is I just put on the bag holder and the paper towel holder can only watch fast motion for so long before it becomes monotonous, right? So, this is what, whoops, am I going the wrong way? Yep. That's what we look like here. And then it says, complete by screwing the supply hose onto the bottom of the faucet and tightening and it has a fat end and a skinny end that makes it pretty simple doesn't it now it does come if you use your own screwdriver but it does come with a wrench so i'm assuming oh. yeah no <laughs> doesn't say anything about a wrench so i'm assuming that you just hand tighten it Okay, hand tightening is all that is required. It helps when you read the directions. Okay, now we're gonna do the drain assembly. And it says, insert the upper metal drain. Okay, upper metal drain is this thing. large rubber washer from the top. Uh-oh. I don't see a washer. Hang tight, guys. I need to make sure I didn't miss something in a bag. 
how it pays to take it apart. <laughs> so there is a foam washer and like a strainer type thing that you insert from the top. Then it says next from the bottom, a large rubber washer. Okay, wait a minute. Well, the picture says one thing and this says another. <coughs> um, I'm gonna do it like the picture says. The washer. Okay, this takes like 14 hands. You sat there. Then this. <laughs> then this. Okay, that can't be right. I don't know. 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 I do had to go and brag about how easy it was, but <laughs> it actually was easy when you just followed the directions, <clears throat> just saying. So the only thing I have left to do here is bolt the top down, and then there's some what I'll call decorative screws that go in these holes here. Not really sure, I guess, to further lock down the top, but y'all, I am so impressed. So let me get this finished. We'll take it for a test run. Stay tuned. All right, y'all, we are all together. Now you may notice it looks like it's going downhill. That's because my deck is uneven. I can raise the casters down here to level it up. And these little things are to hang tools on, you know, like barbecue tools. <laughs> and when I got all finished, look what I found. You could scan the um, app and it was 3D step-by-step -step instructions. But of course, you only find that when you're totally done assembling. The one thing I will say is the drain hose is a bit short. It's designed to go into a five gallon bucket. Um, I may purchase a little bit longer drain hose just from like a Lowe's or a Home Depot. I do have it hooked up. There's Miss Marigold. So let me go turn the water on and we'll see how it works. All right, y'all, here we go. Look at that. Great water pressure. Two thumbs up. So, <laughs> my shirt's flipped inside out here. <laughs> Let me sit down and give you a couple final thoughts and we'll end the video for today. Well, thank you all so much for spending a couple mornings with me as I <laughs> try to organize this crazy little I'm calling it a hobby homestead now because there's a lot of controversy about saying that you're a homesteader. I believe in my heart I am, but you know, th these are my hobbies. So it is only, guys, it's only like quarter till nine. <laughs> so we started at about quarter till seven, <laughs> something like that. So a couple hours work. I did go ahead as you see, and put the cover on. I'm really glad I got the cover. It's very, very nice. I have a lot of planting to do. I still need to go back to the um, Friendly Knoll Farms to get some seedlings, some strawberries, and my raspberry bush did not survive the winter. I'm gonna try again. I have a different idea of where I might put it. So I have a lot of planting to do over the next couple days. So I hope you'll stay tuned. It will probably be next week's videos. Unless something comes up, y'all, I plan to be back on my regular schedule. And don't forget to check out the link for those solar lights. They are the bomb, guys. They are really, really nice. And I would not tell you that if they weren't. Um, I, I do occasionally do promotional type videos, but this one was really good. So check that out in the description box below. And until I see you again, please smash that like button and be healthy, be well, be blessed. Take care.